I want to give a special shout out to all my patrons, my Biblio Spran, Biblio Howlers, and Biblio Mansers. Thank you so much for supporting my hobby and passion even more. It means so much to me. Hi everyone, better care. Today's video will be SFF Spotlight episode uh, number 13. And that means I've been doing this SFF Spotlight uh, for half a year. I've been releasing one SFF Spotlight video once every two weeks and yeah, now we're at episode number 13 and that means I've been doing this for half a year. And I'm really grateful to all of you who keep on watching uh, this series of videos on my channel because yeah, surprisingly this series of videos which is uh, at first inspired by Daniel Green Fantasy News is doing quite well on my channel and consistently at that too and yeah i'm really grateful to all of you who keep on watching my videos on this and just like always for those of you who are new to this series of videos on my channel this is where i will talk about new cover reveals new book announcement and also new noteworthy release in adult fantasy and sci-fi genre within uh, the past two weeks within a specific amount of time and today just like always we have more than 20 topics to talk about so let's get started immediately and once again just like my last sff spotlight the first one that i would like to talk about is about the kickstarter for the limited edition of the sword of kaigen by ml wang which will be handled by Raid mark so right now there are about 2500 readers waiting for the kickstarter for the sword of kaigen by ml wang to be launched and because of this milestone Raid mark just released the end paper art to this book. And it's looking super gorgeous. It's a picture of Mamoru illustrated by Felix Ortiz. I have mentioned Felix Ortiz so many times on my channel and once again, he really nailed it here. And I really cannot wait to get my hands on this special edition. And the next spotlight is for Davish Ashura's newest book, Blood of a Novice. Davish Ashura has released so many books and well, unfortunately, I haven't read anything by him yet, but I've heard constantly I've heard many great things about his books, especially especially his Instrument of Omen series. So Blood of an Novice will take place in the same uh, universe as Instrument of Omens and also the Cast and the Castus. The name of the universe is the Anchored World, if I'm not mistaken. But Blood of a Novice is a new book in a new series in the Anchored World universe. And Podium, which is today's sponsor, has been super gracious and kind enough to allow me to share the trailer they made for Blood of a Novice by Davish Ashura. So yeah, check it out. I think that's quite a great looking trailer. It's not often that a fantasy book get the trailer and I'm really glad that Podium allowed me to share this trailer for Blood of a Novice to all of you. So let me know whether you will get this book or not. And I think I plan to read it eventually. And the next spotlight is for a cover reveal and this is for a collaboration work done by David Estes and also Ben Gelly. And the title of the book is Demon's Reign. And I think the cover art done by Mansik Young and also designed by Sean King looks amazing. This has been advertised as Avatar The Last Airbender meets Venom and I think that is such a great pitch. I am so looking forward to reading this one. I think I might end up reading this one sooner than I expected, probably next month. And if I love it, I think I will share a review on this channel as well. Mansik Young has done a lot of great cover art for Raidmark. And yeah, Demon's Reign is published by Raidmark as well. Both David Estes and Ben Gelly have released a lot of fantasy books and I am so looking forward to reading their collaborative work. And speaking of collaboration, for those of you who don't know, well, Brendan Sanderson has announced that he will invite uh, Dan Wells into writing a Cosmere book together with him on a Cosmere novel. And I think in the future, this means that Brandon Sanderson will be collaborating with other authors as well to work on a Cosmere novel. And well, I've seen some people opinions on this and I think uh, plenty have been negative about it and plenty have been positive about it. And I, well, I am a bit biased about this because Brandon Sanderson is one of my top favorite authors. And I think this could either be something super brilliant or something disastrous. But 
eventually that still remains to be seen. For those of you who are worried that Dan Wells is not a fantasy writer, I don't think you should be worried about this. I will be more worried if actually uh, Dan Wells is writing a book on his own for a Cosmere book. I will be more worried if that happens. But this is a collaboration work. And if you have read Brandon Sanderson's book in the Cosmere, you will realize that mystery, murder mystery, and sometimes even a thriller or horror elements appear in Brandon Sanderson's books. And having Dan Wells collaborating with Brandon Sanderson could mean a great thing on this aspect. The mystery aspect, the murder mystery aspect, could be improved. Plus, Brandon Sanderson's world building and vision in the Cosmere will remain intact. I personally don't think a collaboration instantly will mean bad things. I don't agree with that because, well, just take a look at the expense and also hopefully Demon's Reign that I just mentioned. And I really don't think when it comes to his main novels, or Brandon Sanderson's main novels, like the Stormlight Archive or Mistborn, I think with these two series, Brandon Sanderson will handle and write it himself. But I think this will give us the opportunity to get as many Cosmere stories as we can without sacrificing the quality. At least that's what I hope because if it's up to us and I think if it's up to Brandon Sanderson himself, well, I think we all want Brandon Sanderson to keep writing all the Cosmere story that he wants. But well, he is not immortal and I think it's looking quite impossible for him to write all the Cosmere stories that he wants. I think doing this kind of collaboration will give him the opportunity and, well, efficiency to write as many Cosmere books without sacrificing the quality. At least, that's what I'm hoping. But again, all of this remains to be seen. So yeah, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this will mean brilliant things for the Cosmere. And now before we move on to the topic of cover reveals in traditionally published fantasy, let's talk about one book news first. And this one is from Andrea Stewart regarding her newest series to be released in 2024 until 2026, titled The Gods Below. The Gods Below trilogy will be set in a world ravaged by ancient magic where precious gemstones bestow magical abilities. And this is what Andrea Stewart has to say. I am really looking forward to sharing this new world shattered into realms by an ancient disaster, a place where magic suffused the air in layers beneath everyone's feet, where sinkholes open up at a moment's notice and just as quickly collapse. And of course, new characters. Two sisters torn apart by heartbreaking circumstances. A chameleon of a politician who puts familial duty above her own needs. An interpret scholar explorer who gets the gang together for one last mission. And a huge grum of a winged man with an inexplicable fondness for cats. I hope all of you who have been enjoying the Johnning Empire trilogy will join me for this new adventure. So grateful to my readers and the wonderful folks at Orbit. I really love The Bone Shot Daughter and even though I haven't continued with the series yet, I haven't read The Bone Shot Emperor and I am so looking forward to reading The Bone Shot War uh, as well uh, next year. But The Bone Shot Daughter is one of my favorite debuts and I am looking forward to reading the entire trilogy uh, next year. And with the announcement of The Gods Below, I guess that means that I will be reading Andrea Stewart's books uh, every year until 2026. And now let's move on to the topic of cover reveals and the first four that I'm going to mention are all published by Orbit Books. And the first one is the one where I hosted the cover reveal on Twitter a few days ago and it is for The Tyranny of Fate by Richard Swan. This is the second book in the Empire of the Wolf trilogy and yes, this is the sequel to The Justice of Kings. And once again, the cover art is done by Martina Fachkova and also uh, designed by Lauren Panepinto. I think this looks absolutely stunning. I love the cover art so much and if you have read uh, the first book, The Justice of Kings, you will notice the details on Helena, the main character being featured on the cover art here. This is being released on uh, 2023, I think February 2023 if I'm not mistaken. And obviously it has become one of my most anticipated books of 2023. So looking forward to reading this one. I love The Justice of Kings uh, so much. And guess what? Because this cover art looks this, well, this stunning, on Twitter it has actually become my most liked uh, cover reveal and my most retweeted cover reveal as well. Overtopping the Shadow of the Gods by John Gwynn. Thank you so much to Orbit Books and Richard Swan for giving me the opportunity and privilege to host the cover reveal to the Tyranny of Fate. And the next cover reveals, these are instantly for four books. And the first three are for the re-release of the Night Angel Trilogy by Bran Wicks. The Night Angel Trilogy has been released for more than a decade now. And yeah, I think it is about time for them to get a new cover art. And yeah, the new cover art, uh, all of them are done by Will Still. 
and Will is also doing the new cover art for the newest book by Brand Wicks in the Night Angel universe titled uh, Night Angel Nemesis. This one is to be released in April 2023. And if you want to see the detail of the cover reveal, check out uh, Daniel Green's uh, live stream with Brand Wicks for the cover reveal for Night Angel Nemesis. And let me know what you think about this new cover art. Do you prefer the old cover art or do you prefer the new cover art? And the next cover reveal will be for a cyberpunk novel. No coincidence will be released in August 2023 and yeah the cover art is done by Dilara Osden and the book will be written by Rafal Kosik. I haven't actually played Cyberpunk 2077 but I really love watching the anime. It was surprisingly really good and yeah if you haven't watched the anime yet I highly recommend it. Studio Trigger is doing many amazing anime and the director Hiroyuki Imaishi is one of my favorite directors in anime, all of anime. He has directed Tengen Topa Guren Lagan and also Kill la Kill and also Promare. It's amazing seriously. He's been doing a lot of amazing work and this is one of them. And the last Orbit news on this SFF Spotlight is for a pre-order swag for Empire of Exiles by Aaron Evans, which is, uh, I think it's going to be released in less than three weeks from now, yeah, in November. I haven't read this one, but I've heard only great things about it. So the cover art, uh, the map in the cover art is done by Francesca Beralt, which is my favorite cartographer in fantasy. I think she's just amazing in doing cartography. And because of this, I instantly pre-ordered a copy of Empire of Exiles. And plus, there are now pre-order swag with uh, bookmarks with artworks done by Ivy Diplom, and I think all of them look so beautiful. I cannot wait to get my hands on them. I hope that this is uh, for international reader as well. I don't think I have found any details on it, but Either way, I will still pre-order myself a copy of Empire of Exiles. And moving on to the next cover reveal I would like to talk about, and this is for Thick as Thieves by MG Kun with the cover art done by Chris McGrath. I think if you love heist fantasy, heist epic fantasy, this is worth checking out. I haven't read the first book Among Thieves yet, but I've heard those who enjoyed reading heist in fantasy really enjoyed uh, Among Thieves. So, so yeah, I think this is worth checking out. And finally, the last cover reveal before we move on to the topic of special edition is for The Adventures of Amina Al-Sirafi, the UK cover art. And it is done by Mikaela Alkaino, who also did the UK cover art to the entire Devaba trilogy by Shannon Chakraborty. I haven't finished reading anything by Shannon Chakraborty yet, but I'm so looking forward to uh, reading The Adventures of Amina Al-Sirafi. I think this one sounds just right up my alley, but I don't know whether I will read Devaba trilogy first or not before I dive into this one. But either way, I think uh, both the US and the UK cover art looks beautiful, though personally I still would choose uh, the US cover art over the UK cover art for the adventures of Amina Al-Sirafi. Let me know whether you love the US or the UK cover art more. And now let's move on to the topics of special edition. So Folio Society just announced their Folio Christmas titles and there are 14 books. 14 books and yeah I cannot talk about all of them in details but one of them is A Dance with Dragons by George R. R. Martin. So yes, the Folio Society edition of A Song of Ice and Fire is one of my most coveted special editions. I think Jonathan Burton did such an amazing job with this special edition for all the books in A Song of Ice and Fire Folio Society edition. And the one for A Dance with Dragons looks amazing as well. Just amazing. If I'm not mistaken, Folio Society has also mentioned that they will be doing the Winds of Winter Folio Society edition as well when it's released. So hopefully, uh, George R. R. Martin will release The Winds of Winter not long from now. And after that, Goldsboro Books has announced that uh, their GSFF December will be CD of Last Chances by Adrian Tchaikovsky. And I think this one looks super stunning. I think out of all uh, Adrian Tchaikovsky book, I think CD of Last Chances has the best cover art. And well, obviously this has become the best edition for IGN Tchaikovsky books so far. And the next spotlight is for the newest book to be released uh, this year uh, in the Elric Saga series. And Golangs, the UK publisher, just announced that they will release three editions for Citadel of Forgotten Myths. So the first one is a standard edition. And then after that, the Golangs will release their own special edition for the Citadel of Forgotten Myths that will come with a slipcase. And after that, they will also partner with the Broken Binding to release another special edition for the Citadel of Forgotten Myths. So yeah, a lot of special editions. There are so many special editions being announced within each week now. 
it's crazy it is really hard to keep up so for this one just pick your poison which one do you want i am a fan of slipcase so out of these three i think my personal favorite will have to be the one being released by golangs themselves and the next spotlight is for light blade by zamil akhtar this is a self-published fantasy book and zamil akhtar just announced that it is possible to order a hardcover edition of light blade now and i personally think the hardcover edition looks super beautiful i really love the interior artwork being put inside the book uh, inside the normal edition of light Blade, and I'm really glad that it has become the new cover art for the hardcover edition of Light Blade. And yeah, it looks amazing. I hope that I will be able to secure myself a copy of the hardcover edition someday. But first, I have to read uh, the paperback edition that I received from Zabel Akhtar first. And speaking of the broken binding and also special editions, I highly recommend you to check out Fantasy Fellowship on Instagram. They are doing a readathon right now and wow, the prizes are insane. One of them being Empire of Silence by Christopher Rukio, a hardcover and some, I think, underreader books and also some broken binding books. It is just insane. Seriously, I will leave the link to the details in the description down below. Make sure to check it out. And with that in mind, Fantasy Fellowship is really doing a lot of amazing things in such a rapid pace. Lately, I really recommend you to check them out. And also, before I forget, Subterranean Press has pretty much confirmed that they will release uh, the special edition, their own special edition for the Greenbone Saga by Fondali. There is no details on this yet, but I will start saving for this edition for sure. I will have to own myself a subterranean press edition of Jade City, Jade War, and Jade Legacy. No doubt about it, even though they will be, I think they will be super pricey, but I will try my best to get them because. The Greenbone Saga is my favorite completed fantasy trilogy of all time. And before I move on to the final section, noteworthy release, I would like to mention three self-published fantasy spotlight first. And the first one is Red from the Mountains uh, by Daniel Smith. The cover art is once again done by Martin Motet, and this is the sequel to The Blood of Outcast. I haven't read this series yet, but I think the cover art looks nice. And if you love grimdark Asian-inspired fantasy and also Ruroni Kenshin, I think this one might be worth checking out. And after that, we have The Crew by Sadir Samir. The cover art has been revealed and this one has been pitched as kings of the wild meets deadpool so yeah i am quite looking forward to reading this one someday i mean kings of the wild meets deadpool sounds super fun and i think this epic fantasy will take place in an arab inspired landscape for more details on the crew i will leave the link to the interview that sadir samir did with fantasy book critic on the description down below make sure to check it out and the next spotlight goes to the wandering inn by pirate abba pirate abba just revealed the cover art to volume 5 part 2 or in other words volume 8 of the ebook and audiobook of the wandering inn and the cover art is done by john anthony di giovanni all the cover art to the ebooks and audiobook edition of the wandering inn is done by john anthony di giovanni and i think all of them looks amazing i know that the numbering can be a bit confusing here it took me some time to learn about them too but well it cannot be helped the wandering inn is now more than 10 million words it is arguably one of the biggest single epic fantasy series out there right now I still haven't read The Wandering Inn yet, I'm just waiting for the right time to commit myself to this massive series, but rest assured, I definitely will read this series one day. For those of you who are waiting for the blood of Lisker, well, the release date is 22nd of November 2022. Finally, there are plenty of details on The King Killing Queen by Sean Spickman, with a cover art done by Magali Villeneuve, and I think there will be interior artworks done by Donato Giancola as well. If that's really the case, this edition, this book will look super amazing. Just amazing. Donato Giancola and also Magali Villeneuve are some of the best artists in fantasy. And well, just take a look at the cover art. It, it looks super beautiful already. I cannot wait to see it in hardcover, really. I cannot wait. And now moving on to the final section of this SFF Spotlight and it will be for noteworthy release. And there are five of them. The first one will be for the Ren War Saga Pentology by M.L. Spencer, the author of Dragon Mage. So before Dragon Mage was out, uh, M.L. Spencer has released release of five books in the Ren War Saga. And now it is possible to own the entire pentology with one audible credit. And that is insane. 61 hours long of epic fantasy with one audible credit. So yeah, I think this one is grimdark epic fantasy. So if you're into grimdark fantasy, well, check this one out. And yeah, ML Spencer from what I've read in Dragon Mage 
It's a terrific author. I really love Dragon Mage and I look forward to reading more of her books someday. But my biggest priority obviously will have to be Champion of the Fallen, the sequel to Dragon Mage, whenever it's ready. And after that, for those of you who are looking to dive back into the Devabat series by Shannon Chakaborty, well, Rivers of Silver is now out. Rivers of Silver is a collection of stories in the Devabat uh, universe, Devabat world, and yeah, this is your chance to dive back into Dave Vabat again because I know there are many diehard fans for the Dave Vabat series. And the next noteworthy release I would like to mention is for The Severing Sun by Von Roycroft. I have done the cover reveal to this one and also Philip Chase has done the cover reveal and plus a spoiler -free review for the book as well. He called it one of the best sub published fantasy books he has ever read and I am so looking forward to reading this one. The cover art by John Anthony Di Giovanni looks absolutely stunning. That gorgeous cover art plus Philip Chase's endorsement of this book, well, I have to read this one eventually, well, sooner than later. And finally, the last noteworthy release and the last topic on today's SFF Spotlight video will be for the release of The Baptism of Fire and The Tower of Swallows by Andreas Sapkowski. Yes, this is for The Witcher books, the new Witcher books with the new cover art, and I think they are looking super pretty. I really love the new cover art to the Witcher series, especially the one for the Tower of Swallows with the cover art done by Rovina Kai. So aligned to my taste. And even though I haven't continued reading the Witcher past uh, the collection of short stories, I am so looking forward to, well, owning the Witcher series in its entirety in this new hardcover edition. So yeah, that's it for today's SFF Spotlight video. Seriously, it's getting harder for me to keep track of all the news being released and announced Within two weeks, just within two weeks, there are so many news. And I think starting next year, I will start doing SFF Spotlight once per week because that will make the video easier to do. Do let me know what you think about doing SFF Spotlight once per week. But until then, that's it for today's video. Do let me know your thoughts on today's SFF Spotlight, uh, which news excite you the most. And as always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. Bye-bye. Lastly, thank you so much to all my patrons who keep on supporting my hobby and passion.